Hey guys, it's Danny from Can't Swim. I'm here at Guitar World, playing through my riff list. What was the first riff I ever learned that was, uh... Is Everlong by the Foo Fighters. I was a huge Foo Fighters fan when I started to learn guitar, and naturally, that was the first song that I learned. There's a lot of good guitar riffs out there, but the best riff of all time, it's gotta be this one. It's just the best riff of all time. In case you're wondering, that is 96 Quite Bitter Beings by the band CKY. So this next riff is uh, well, a riff that I find is definitely underrated. I am now playing in drop C. This is, here it goes. That would be Spit by Kitty. It's a heavy ass riff. It's, you know, very new metal, very like hardcore, super like metal. I mean it's it's awesome. It's a it's a super underrated riff. They're an amazing band and uh, yeah, definitely check it out. A riff that someone wouldn't expect me to know. don't know what that riff is, and well, there's no help in you. My favorite chord is definitely going to be a sus2 chord. So good. Basically take that major third, make it a 2. So good. Sounds very... It's almost like it's kind of a resolving chord, but at the same time it isn't, so it's a little bit of both. It's very whimsical sounding. I don't know, it's pretty awesome. You hear it a lot in uh, Purple Rain, one of my favorite songs. Sus2. My warm-up routine. Um, I feel like there's three steps to my warm-up. I definitely like to stretch, you know, go through all the typical stretches, stretch your wrist and, you know, make sure you're not going to pull anything from all the shredding you're about to do. And then I like to go through pretty, you know, basic exercises like just using your first finger and second finger and just going all the way up and down the guitar. You know, and then first and third finger. And your first and fourth. I just do that all the way up and down the whole neck of the guitar. And it honestly can be kind of boring, but I guarantee you, you will feel warm and ready to go. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the second phase. And then the third part of my routine that I really like is to just kind of jam and just kind of have fun, you know, solo, doing a lot of like blues solos and blues licks. Um, I'll often just plug into like a uh, little practice amp and then I'll just go on YouTube and then I'll search for backing tracks, you know, I'll type in like blues backing track in the key of A, you know, and lo and behold, there'll be like tons of options. You just push play and you just, you know, go to town. It's, you just, you know, I just noodle around basically for like five minutes and then, and then I'm ready to go. You know, I'm ready to play a show, I'm ready to record, whatever it is I need to do, I'm absolutely ready to shred. The 
riff that I most recently learned is a Stevie Ray Vaughan riff. It's uh, actually the intro to Texas Flood. <laughs> Such a badass riff. I love Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, I'm a little bit obsessed with him. I love his playing style. And that particular riff, the intro to Texas Flood, has all the little juicy, like Stevie Ray. All that. Like, he's the king of that, you know. And uh, I never knew that riff before today, so I'm glad they learned it. Favorite riff that I've ever written would be for Can't Swim, a song called Congratulations, Christopher Hodge. It's a part that is in an odd time signature, so it's actually 9 over 4, but it's over a 4-4 four, four part or 4-4 four, four feel. Out of the context of the music, it's kind of hard to really grasp, but I can play the riff for you. So that's one pass of it, so I'll kind of cue you in on the one. That whole bit happens over a 4-4 four, four part during the bridge of that song. And I just think it's really cool. It kind of gives this, like, this sort of traveling sense of the riff just kind of seems endless in a way where it has no beginning or no end. Um, and <laughs> honestly, it's, it's strange to play and to have to do live and have to sing at the same time. But just from merely focusing on being able to do that, it was an accomplishment for me, so definitely is a good contender for my favorite riff that I've ever written. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed our riff list. Definitely check out our band, Can't Swim. Our latest EP is called Foreign Language. You'll find it everywhere. Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, all the places. Give us a listen. Some good riffs in there. Keep riffing. <laughs>